on your health, bro, because um, that's gonna take a lot of stress off of you, bro. Stay, stay, uh, and when I say stay healthy, stay focused on your health. That means physically, mentally, spiritually, because it all plays a part. Everything on, is connected. Everything is connected. In this coronavirus, bro, my my uh my girl, she taught me a lot actually yesterday because she was uh, listening to this podcast. I don't know the name of it or who runs it. But uh, you can shout them out real quick. I think it's called the More Health Show. The More Health Show. We'll, yeah. we'll link it in the description. But um, yeah, shout out to them. By Sean. That's all I remember his first name. <laughs> all right. Sean uh, Stevenson. Sean C. Sean. The Model Health Show. My bad. Sorry, Sean. The Model Health Show. All right. So we're gonna link that in the description. Um, they were talking about how you you become more susceptible to diseases. Um, when you're stressed out Mm -hmm. and it's crazy because we started thinking about 2020 as a whole and coronavirus, bro. So as we were saying, stress makes you more susceptible to contracting diseases and stuff like that. Mm Mm-hmm. And viruses. Because it weakens your immune system. Right. Because your immune system becomes weakened. And you're just on. You're just move. You're just moving so slow. Now, you're moving different. So now, if you catch the virus, you're you're more susceptible to actually experience harmful symptoms. Word. Or just symptoms in general. Right. So with that being said, tell me why. First, they started prepping us in 2019 with the passing of Nipsey Hussle. Because he, he passed in 2019. Mm-hmm. And I, I think somebody else passed. Juice before. World? Mm, that was 2019? I think so. Fact check that. But, um yeah, especially with the death of Nip- Nipsey Hussle, they were prepping the masses for some kind of traumatic experience. And then... um He died December 8th, 2019. Juice all right, world. then Juice World. That one shocked the way... The, uh, shocked the masses, too. And sent waves through the world. Um, oh, wait. And you forgot about X, too. Wasn't that 2000? X died. Right. There was a lot of stress being put on the people. And this he one, died 2018. So it was him first. Yeah. Following Nipsey. Right. So there was a lot of trauma that people experienced. And, it, and this is why I tell people to be careful with what they put their emotions into. There's really nothing in this world that you should be putting that much emotion into. And that that's something I call idolatry. And people really hate when I use that word because they, like, look, idolatry is not when you like something or when you love to do something. Like, idolatry is when something consumes your mind so much that you become a slave to it like that's drugs for some people and that could be your job yeah exactly your job uh eating habits bro like Mm -hmm. obsession with your self-image like anything bro and um that that goes to celebrities and that's the thing that people idolize the most uh, people grow up saying so and so is my idol, so and so is my idol. People gotta stop saying that, bro, because you look up to these people like gods, bro. So when they die, that that has a negative emotional effect on you know their their fans, their quote unquote fans. And you shouldn't be a fan of nobody. I appreciate people's work. Don't get me wrong. I say this all the time. I listen to rap. I watch. I watch scary movies and stuff like that. I watch uh, raunchy comedy. Like, it is what it is. Like, but I don't idolize that stuff. Like, I appreciate the work. It's funny or it made me think of something, you know, know, provoke thought. Um, You know, they were able to send a certain message through their artwork and that's fine. But when you idolize somebody to that degree, they're able to tamper with your emotions through every single action that they make. So be careful with idolizing and worshiping these celebrities because that's the way that they um, 
they use these celebrities as pawns, like chess pieces, to um, change the world, basically, and make and make us feel certain things, think certain things, and things like that. Who me, who I idolize is God, the Most High of the Bible. All right, that's that's it. All right. Um, let's continue going back on what we were saying. Um. So they were prepping the masses for trauma and stress with the passing of those people. And then, I'm going to fast forward. Kobe Bryant died. And then, no, no, no. In December, they announced there was some kind of... No, no, no. In December, they announced there was some kind of disease in China. Yeah. And then, Kobe passed away. And then, that's when COVID broke out after that. And that was the most stressful time. And they claim that they didn't want America to panic and stuff like that. And that's all good and well. The government, per se, the, the, the government, they, I'll say that they didn't really make us panic because they, they, I wasn't really paying attention to nothing they were doing. They said to wear the mask, you know. They, actually, I take that back. They, they were trying to put, um, curfews and stuff. Yeah. They had the riots going on. There was a lot of, um, Police, uh, police incidents, like, and stuff like that. So, yeah, the government played a heavy hand this year in uh, stressing out people. And um, coronavirus was taking out people left and right, according to the news sources, which you really shouldn't take all that serious anyway, because they're entertainment. If you look at um, the, the, uh, the details or the, you know... The more intricate information of the shows, it'll tell you that the news outlets are in entertainment at the end of the day. Um, they 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 say that they're journalists, I believe, so they do have to watch what they say. But you need to remember that it's entertainment at the end of the day. And they are paid by somebody. They get money from somebody. And they have to push certain narratives. So... They were always announcing the, the coronavirus. Yo, I remember when whenever I would cut on the news and they had the, the count of how many yeah. people were dying from the coronavirus. How many people... Like, what the like, fuck? why do we need to know that? Like, why... Who wants to see that when they're, when they're on... Um, why do we need to see it every second of the day, though? Boy, that's just stupid to me. Like, announce it at the end of the day if you really want to tell us the numbers. And remember, keep in mind that we said that when you're stressed out, you're more susceptible to catching diseases. Or we're contracting diseases. Mm -hmm. um, so let's move forward. We have Pop Smoke passing away. That was traumatic for New, uh, for New York. And I, oh shit. New York was the capital yeah, of... Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, I need to see the statistics borough to borough. Because if Brooklyn had the most cases... And I believe... It was either Queens or Brooklyn that had... I know it was Queens at one point, I think. It was Queens at one point. And for those of you out um, out here in New York, y'all know that um, Queens and Brooklyn is very, like... They're not the same, number one. Because Brooklyn is, like, its own planet, according to them. But Queens and Brooklyn, they're very close. And uh, the vibe is, like, you know, very similar, you know. Depending on where you're at. You know, depending on where you're at and stuff like that. So, um... I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Pop Smoke's passing stressed out the Queens people as much as, as, much as it stressed out Brooklyn. Because out here in Long Island, I'll tell you right now, it stressed out a lot of Long Islanders, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, It stressed out New York, nigga. It stressed out the metropolitan area, bro. It stressed out the boroughs in Long Island, bro. Um, And all my American viewers, and I'm pretty sure everybody in the world knows that New York was hot for um the coronavirus yeah. um so then we have george Flo you know the george the george floyd stuff happening brianna taylor stuff happening like all the all this stuff just happening in the world and i feel like well right now they put on pause the announcement of the deaths of the well, no, they didn't put that on pause, but they're not really so focused on the coronavirus right now because American politics is like on some different shit right now. So that's what they're really focused on, and that's what's stressing people out. 
And I'm telling you, the terminology that Joe Biden used, he said it's going to be a dark winter. And I looked that up in, on Google, and that was a, a bioterrorist attack. Operation Dark Winter was a bioterrorist attack, bro. Keep that in mind. And um, a, and as the winter was approaching, and as we started getting, you know, further into the ho- um into the holidays, they were saying that the winter is gonna be dropping niggas like flies for this coronavirus. And remember, Joe Biden saying it's gonna be a dark winter. Um. I have to collect my thoughts. See, when I start getting into these things, I, I, I have to, you know, anyway. So, whoever wins this election, it's going to stress out America. O.D. O.D. Mm-hmm. And people are going to start, they're going to start announcing, um, oh, coronavirus spikes. Da, 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 da. Um, like, it's going to be crazy, like. Symbols and signs for the conscious minds, guys. You got to keep your your eyes open, your eyes peeled. And when you start really looking into all of this stuff, once you have your eyes open, you cannot close them. And damned be you that don't spread that information, guys. And I, I'm not... I'm a believer of the Bible, and I, I believe I, I shouldn't curse people, but I'm not cursing you. I'm telling you what's set out of the scriptures, bro. When you don't warn people of what's to come or of their evil doing, you're just as guilty. You're just as responsible. So I'm here opening my mouth and letting y'all know what's going on. Um, so, yeah. For, but from the way it's looking right now, if you support Joe Biden, bro, and Kamala Harris, I don't think they're getting in office, guy. Like... They, 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 a lot of states, from what I hear, are starting to recount and check their numbers for the election. Uh, a lot of people are um, turning in their electoral vote for Trump, from from what I know. Um, I think some people are, no, 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 no. I think some people are going to fight the electoral college because of some, you know, the bullshit going on. And I think this is a good thing because... If you honestly think that this election was fair and everything went smooth, bro, it's a lie. You're bugging. 